I was delighted when I was asked to address this subject of aesthetics uh, for implant removable dental prosthesis, or RDP for short. It's the third invitation in one year to speak about aesthetics for removable dental prosthesis. And I think that's a move in the right direction because uh, I think I'm right in saying that in a number of aesthetic societies, then perhaps the concentration, the focus was rather more on fixed end of, of the spectrum rather than the removable. But removable prostheses are a fact of life for many people the world over. You will notice that I spell aesthetics with an E. I think in English, in UK English, you would spell it with an AE, but because of the aesthetic risk assessment that the ITI uses the ERA, the, the acronym for that, I stick to the, the format and use E for uh, the title here. Um, partial and complete removable dental prosthesis undoubtedly have a very significant role to play in terms of restorations of dental and for that matter facial aesthetics. And there are some <coughs> very specific aesthetic and functional advantages of being able to have the prosthetic flanges, the, that component which is replacing and replacing much closer to real life the, the, um, or the effect, at least, in terms of real life, replacing not just teeth, but the missing hard and soft tissues as well. Um, you see a flange here. This is a denture that was made by me and made a number of years ago. On the right-hand side, and in this lecture, I have to pay tribute to my mentor, who is probably known to quite a lot of you in Scandinavia, because I think he's been traveling here, is Dr. John Besford. He's now retired. And the reason that I can show his work is that I have been fortunate enough to take over his practice and look after his patients.